And I, I, if I never see you again, I tell you to go study the man. Study him for yourself. Go look in the book. And then ask, well, show me where this is at. Show me the works where he did something similar. Just show it to me. See, if you say that he is, then clearly his work should testify of him. Hmm? Show me the miracles. See, but, but I've seen them. I've seen people come by in one condition and leave in another. I can bear witness to people coming by sick and being made well. It's a sister that, <laughs> that we met in New York. And as you all saw the fly or you may have seen it, it said basically that I travel with the minister. I traveled with him under the capacity of security, a part of the security team. So when it comes to the ministerial stuff and the scripture and all that, that's not necessarily my forte. But I'll never forget a sister that we met in New York. Police. And the sister came to us and when I received it, it was she just wanted to meet the minister. People meet the minister all day. My thing is, if I can make it special for one person in life at one event, then I'm gonna make it special for that one person. It may not mean nothing to nobody else, but that visit that Farrakhan made will mean something to that one person. And when the request came for her to meet the minister, I asked the brother, where did you get this information from? He told me, I said, well, I can't accept your word on this. I have to verify it through the captain. I verified through the captain. And then I said, well, take me to meet her. And he took me to meet the sister. So I asked her, you know, brother, say you're interested in meeting the minister. Why? I listened to him. I said, I tell you what. Let me pray on it. Let me pray on it and I'll get back. As I prayed on it, I told brother, I said, tell it what happened. I called my superiors and checked, told them the situation, and asked them, could we make it happen? They said, yeah. So I gave her certain stipulations that relates to, you know, her credentials, her badge, her gun, things of that nature. And we facilitated the meeting, only to come to find out that this woman had issues, serious health issues that we were not aware of. But the bottom line was, she was a praying woman, believed in God, asked God to show up in her life and to show certain realities and to heal her a certain way. I don't know nothing about her prayers. The person that brought it to me didn't know anything about her prayers. But as she meets him, she talks about a sensation that she received in her womb a burning sensation of energy and how she couldn't stand even in his presence and fell to the wall to support her. And she left and went home crying all that day as she drove from where we were to the location of our house, which was about an hour. But needless to say, we stayed in communication with this woman and we hadn't heard from her, so we asked, well, how is so-and-so? Come to find out she had went into the hospital. Needless to say, once again, she just wanted to hear his voice. When she heard his voice, this woman said, I knew that I would be all right. I knew that I would be all right. She received her healing. As I looked at that, as I thought about that, I looked in the scriptures and I looked at all those that were healed by Jesus and I looked at all of his disciples that had healing powers and I come to understand that it was based on their belief in him. They said that when they believed in him in a certain way they were able to perform the miracles because their belief in him. If you believe, then carry out the principles of your faith and you'll walk into the miracles. It's if it is of God, you'll know. And if it is not, you'll know. 
But one thing for certain, you know that we're living in a hell of a condition yes, and we need to change. Yes, I offer you the door, the way out. I offer you a man.